morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 17th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of um, Asian markets overnight, more or less flat, okay, no real uh, direction overnight. Now, my previous video, or yesterday's video, certainly explained that the Nikkei was certainly into resistance and certainly had factored in all the bullish news. The Shanghai also into resistance as well. You can see here horizontal resistance on the Shanghai, certainly capping any potential uh, future gains. Also, with regards to Nikkei, you look at the daily chart, you're into horizontal resistance. So, the Nikkei and the uh, Shanghai both into resistance and therefore indicating risk aversion. Now, what do we have coming up later on? It's all about Miss Yellen. Okay, Miss Yellen. We have had uh, retail sales from the UK this morning, stronger retail sales, much stronger than expected uh, month on month, uh, certainly smashing expectations on the upside, but uh, there is a downside to that, folks, and that means that sterling is going to move higher on the back of uh, hawkish BOE. So, again, is uh, a sterling rally actually bullish for FTSE, or is it bearish? It's actually not, it's actually considered bearish. So, just bear that in mind, okay, bear that in mind. Also, we have Brexit concerns and Brexit uncertainty, we have political uncertainty in Europe with the uh, potential elections on the weekend in France, okay, uh, as a uh, potential indication as to what's going to happen going forward and whether the uh, the French will go down the route of the UK and uh, the US. Also, we have this Italian referendum as well that certainly is in the background and that's what's causing weakness in the euro to a large extent. And uh, and like I've mentioned before, when, um, when a weaker euro fails to propel European equities higher, that certainly is a, a negative sign. We do have uh, European CPI and construction output data out soon. Uh, currently, uh, oh, sorry, just just come out now, literally. You have European inflation data. Let me just quickly go over the numbers. Uh, your CPI comes in at 0.5% as expected. And in, in construction data actually comes in negative. So comes in minus 0.9%. So that certainly isn't good news, okay? So a potential uh, there of a bearish bias to a large extent, okay, in terms of data okay in terms of data so again certainly not looking good on a month-to-month -month basis so let's have a look here cpi so we have building uh, data we have uh, ecb monetary uh, policy meeting accounts so the report from there so we'll get some insight in terms of the next direction the euro uh, you have housing data jobless data and cpi inflation data out of the us later on dudley and yellen speak as well and that should be interesting as to uh, the actual direction we have ECB's pre out as well, so again, whether or not he can give us any direction with regards to Europe. Now, we have had some negative or, uh, of, uh, or shall we say, uh, hawkish comments out of the ECB this morning. Certainly not looking, uh, so ECB's merge measures are temporary, not permanent part of the system, must be rolled back ASAP. So again, referring to monetary policy. So certainly seems to be a shift towards fiscal stimulus as opposed to monetary stimulus, and uh, that certainly is uh, debatable whether it's bullish or bearish. So again... It's um, it certainly is a debate. Okay, so in terms of the technical picture now, let's just bring up the uh, German DAX for you. Uh, German DAX, I've explained already, given the political uncertainty from France and uh, obviously uh, Italy, certainly remains bearish in the daily chart, certainly not pushing any higher. 60-minute chart, my focus remains on this H&S formation at present, certainly looking for this H&S formation to be triggered and, and uh, certainly send the uh, DAX reeling lower, okay? And that's based on the fact that you have the S&P 500 topping out on the daily chart, and the focus remains in the 10-minute chart with this H&S formation going into the close. Also, with regards to the NASDAQ, we'll bring up the NASDAQ for you. You're approaching the 200 MA, so you're looking into resistance. Use your Fibonacci retracements, take the pivot high to pivot low, and you are into that Fib 61% resistance. So again, another argument for a reversal and a potential pullback. So certainly looking for weakness in US markets, being projected into Asian markets, with Asian markets obviously... Uh, uh, obviously flat and uh, into resistance and therefore looking for risk aversion trade. Okay, so moving on to the French CAC now, let's quickly go on to the CAC here. Uh, into gap fill, holding resistance thus far on the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart of the French CAC at the moment. We certainly seems to be, we will certainly have put in a lower high in the French CAC, okay? So whether or not we can put in a lower low now and start to reverse sharply again will be seen. It'd be interesting to see exactly what happens here, but my bias certainly remains bearish. And also post retail sales, FTSE 100, like I mentioned, post retail sales, a stronger sterling is, is expected to hurt the FTSE. 
okay uh, we have had sterling up to 1.2470 now let's quickly bring up sterling for you given the fact that stronger retail sales certainly uh, negate the argument of further qe okay so looking at uh, gbp usd here 60 minute chart we certainly have bounced 1.241 up to this uh, zone here we have resistance here for now but well, given the fact that the US dollar obviously is now into uh, potential resistance as well I did mention the uh, US bond tenure uh, potentially bottoming out as well okay obviously Miss Yellen speaking today whether or not she maintains a hawkish view or she attempts to talk the dollar down is a good is certainly something to uh, keep an eye out for as well okay right so Moving on to the FTSE 100, you have resistance and turbulence here at the 6770 zone, so keep an eye on that. 60 minute chart, we have made a base at 6730, so whether or not we want to go up and move in test 6810 certainly is debatable. Okay, so just bear that in mind. In terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just quickly give you an insight there. Okay, daily chart at the moment, my bias is bearish. I am actually short the Euro stocks given the political uncertainty going into the weekend, it certainly seems unlikely. That you are going to get buyers entering there with given the uncertainty you'd certainly seem to have um, uh, held support at 3014 certainly expecting that to break test the 29 or 3000 level and potentially go lower to 2960 so certainly looking for a flush here on the back of a lower high so we've had a lower low a uh, lower high sorry looking for a lower low a further low okay so my buyer certainly remains bearish at this juncture uh, and again it's uh, sort of uh, it hangs on the fact that the u.s market certainly are topping out and certainly looking to reverse as well okay just looking at the mdax 50 here at the moment daily chart certainly remains bearish looking for potential new low below so again it'll be interesting to see how the european indices play out on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now folks